All right, this is a quickie look at uh, an LED project for a Suzuki SV650. Um, bought the uh, LEDs from uh, from uh, Mammoth Electronics. Actually, you can buy this short wire from them too in bundles of 100. It's real cheap. LEDs real cheap. Uh, link them together in series, and then we're going to do three series of six LEDs. So there's two more strings, just like this one. And on the end, this end right here, we're going to go with a little resistor, probably a 10 or 15 ohm resistor, uh, between there and then the battery. So that's how that looks. Um, here's the bike, which has been uh, all tore up. I uh, took off the back seat, took off the front seat, uh, expose the battery right there. And then... Uh, Get the rest of this opened up like this. I used a uh, come-along strap to uh, hold the tank up. The tank pivots right off of a little point right in there. It's not that bolt, but it's the one right behind it right in there. So you open it up. Uh, what I'm going to do is use a little switch, and I'm going to tie in these LED strings from the switch. So the battery will go, it'll go battery to the little switch on this side over here. Then it'll go into the resistor then into our LED strings. And then on the uh, the LED strings will run. The other end of the LED string is black, meaning it's negative. It's the ground. And we're going to tie it in right here up to the frame. So we're actually going to um, do one piece of... Uh... All right, so here we are in the layout phase. Um, tank is over there. And uh, I actually just full-on pulled it off. It's cool. Um... The, on the front of the tank, you'll notice there's those two little uh, doodads, which secure to this guy right here, on this guy right here. You'll notice I have decided to tie in the ground here, because these are good for ground. There's connectivity and continuity and all those other E's. So we're just going to hook that up there and just use that as kind of a reference starting point. And then we're going to string the three of them. I think the last one's actually going to be like more over in this area, like this. So, number one one will come down like this side. Number two one will start there and come down through this side. And the last one will connect here. They're all, they'll all connect to the switch positive right in that area. And they'll kind of come up in here maybe. And then uh, they can all ground in whatever place since the frame's negative. So, yeah. Um, we did a little detailing and cleaning up the bic. Um, it got under here and got nasty. And, uh, kind of cleaned some of that off so it looks a little better. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll, uh, increase the saleability of the bicicle. So, alright, I'm off to do more soldering and routing. Alright, well here it is. The lighting isn't very good, so my camera's gonna gripe and moan about this. There it is. Lights up. It's uh, hooked to a little switch. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna be putting some, uh, some tape around the LEDs. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. It's not as bright as I'd hoped, but I like it. I think on my next bike, which will hopefully be a Triumph or something else naked, I will probably do blue or white, um, since they tend to be brighter. These orange LEDs tend to not be the brightest thing on Earth. I think the camera probably thinks so, but uh, you should see the green one on my Lunar Lander pedal. That thing calls Batman out of the grave, that thing is so bright. Anyway, I'm going to keep working away on this.